On to step two. After you've completed your ultimate impact and your problem statement, this is going to be next on our list. So again, if you're going to be using pen and paper, this is a great opportunity to take out your post-it notes. Again, if you have an opportunity to have different colors, that can be really helpful in this process. Also, download the PDF worksheet if you haven't already. If you're more of a digital person, go ahead to the link that hopefully you've downloaded before, brandup-logic-model, and we're going to walk you through how this works in that particular situation as well. We're going to start this process by looking at our activities. What are activities? Simply put, they are the work that your organization does, and oftentimes they are paralleled with the programs that your organization runs. So when you think about the activities for Full Circle Fund, they have a bunch, but we're going to focus in on one strategy group, the convening strategy group, and look at the two activities that are taking place under that particular strategy. Number one is community events, and number two is network cultivation and support. So very simply put, these are the activities in that particular strategy that take place on a regular basis for Full Circle Fund to achieve their mission. The second part that we're going to focus on in this particular step are outputs. Outputs are incremental results directly related to your activities. And most frequently, they are measurable units of results. So that means it's really important to note that in many cases, it might be something that you report to your board or to your boss. Very frequently, outputs are measurable. So when you look at the outputs for Full Circle Fund, you can see that the community events have outputs of increased opportunities for changemakers across sectors to collaborate, share, and learn. And the network cultivation and support activity has an output of Full Circle Network continues to grow and engage over time. So additional examples of outputs could be concrete things like membership grows for both nonprofit and the for-profit sector, and then event attendees. So there are a lot of different ways to outline what your outputs can be. When we're looking at the digital version of our logic model, if you go to the second tab, there's an example of an organizational model, and it just happens to be the Full Circle Fund logic model. You can see that in the interventions and activities row, we have our community events and our network cultivation and support. And below that, we have the direct outputs that are associated with those activities. For the activity in step two, we are going to be writing out all of our activities and our outputs. If you're doing this exercise with pen and paper, go ahead and take out your post-its at this point and start to write down all of the different activities that you can think of that your organization participates in. If you have a second color, go ahead and write down all of the outputs that those activities create. If you're doing this in the digital version, pull up your spreadsheet and in the third tab, there's an area called activities brainstorm. And what we want to do is write down all of the interventions or activities that your organization participates in. And then in column B, go ahead and write down all of the different outputs that are associated with those particular activities. Save column C for our third step, which is our next exercise, where we're going to start to organize these activities and outputs into strategies.